What's up guys, Jimbo here. I have uh, a much awaited video for you guys here. This is going to be my little version of the drill fight featuring the DeWalt DCD-995. The rigid Gen 5X model number R8611503. The illustrious Milwaukee Generation 2 fuel 2704-20. And then, just because, why not, I have the M12 fuel hammer drill. This is the model 2404-20. Now, this guy ain't going to keep up with the big boys here, but we'll see. We'll see if it can hang. Um, I have video reviews of the three 18-volt lines on... Uh, YouTube, if you want a more in-depth look at those, uh, you can definitely check those out. I don't have one of the M12. Uh, maybe that'll be a future video. Um, <clears throat> in terms of size, the Milwaukee is about the smallest, followed by the DeWalt, then the Rigid. Now, the Rigid is uh, on the same bloodline as the Milwaukee, both owned by TTI. Um, now that's just a 12 volt, so it's hard to compare. But in terms of size, really and truly, they're all about. The M12 is not that small of a drill for being a 12 volt. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. In terms of the handles, the two Milwaukee's, or I'm sorry, the two TTI drills, the Milwaukee and the Rigid, share the same style with the spring loaded. Let's twist it off so you can see here. This untwists, and there's a spring in there, and this unclips, okay? And then you could have it left or right hand, same with that one, but the Milwaukee stands out probably about four or five inches wider than the other two drills. Um, as I showed on the DeWalt video, this is full 360 degree um, movement of the handle for tight situation. So we're going to do... Um, I'm going to do three tests for you guys. We're going to drill in some concrete. Uh, we're going to do some hole saw. And then um, we're going to see how these run legs. And, um, you know, we all know that Milwaukee's probably going to win. It's the big top dog. This is not brushless. This is a permanent brush motor. This has been out a couple years. It's a little underpowered. So, respectively uh, speaking, you got about 1,200 inch pounds of torque, 750 pounds of inch torque. And um, about 708 when the math comes out. And I couldn't even guess where this is at. Maybe 500. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're going to throw this in here, here, and there and see see how it handles. So the uh, both the Rigid and the um, Milwaukee are two speeds. Same thing with this little guy. And then the DeWalt is a three speed. So see what happens. All right, test one, we have a one inch Speedbore Max. All these drills, we're just gonna do speed one, okay? It's the simplest way to do it. I know the Milwaukee can run it at speed two. It's not fair. So I just want you guys to see how the drills react. This is um, a four by four piece of pressure treated lumber. And we'll go from there. Guys, this is the rigid, same bit, one inch speed board max. Speed one. struggled. It really struggled. Okay. I think I hit a, I hit a little metal in there too from the 
reactions. I hit a little metal by accident uh, on the rigid. So uh, it clipped, uh, clipped some metal in there. So it's pretty powerful. It did bog down a little more when it was going halfway through. And then it kind of picked back up once it got the bit set in there. But look how good that, uh, that speed board did the uh, metal. Whoops. All right. And now the Milwaukee. M18 Gen 2 fuel. Well, that was pretty effortless right there. This is the M12 fuel. Same size bit. Now, if you can run this, I'll be really impressed by this, this drill. Wow, look at that. Would you look at that, that little 12 volt. Wow, that's impressive right there. Very impressive. All right guys, uh, test number two. We're gonna do some legs. Um, now, we can put them in all these drills in their designated drill mode. But what I want to do is I'm going to put it on the highest torque setting for screw driving mode. All right, here's the DeWalt clutch 11 speed three. All right guys, same thing here. We are on uh, screw mode. And the highest torque setting, like 109 for this one. We'll see what happens. We're just going until it torques out, okay? And we're on speed two. There you go. And I did the same thing as well. Okay. M18 Gen 2 fuel. You're in speed 2, drill mode, high torque setting 24. Oh. Same thing, that one's torquing out too. All right. All right, now it's time for our underdog superstar screw mode 18 setting, speed two. There you have it. Um, and we'll see what the results are. Yes, I do have five holes. These two are from the DeWalt. I redid the DeWalt because I feel like I kept going on it on my first take. So I redid it just until it initially um, torqued out. So this is the DeWalt, the Rigid, the Gen 2 Fuel M18, and the and, uh, M12 Fuel. So no, this is not the best version of a measurement. Where am I? Here we go. But. It works, okay, so then we'll call that 24. The rigid, barely even registered. The, how about this? So we'll call 24. 
not even to 20. About 20. That's the M18 fuel. That was the rigid. This is the M12. Barely registered. So the DeWalt actually made it the deepest. Now, it doesn't mean the DeWalt's the most powerful. All that means is that the way that they configure their motors and their torque settings within the motor. Now, I'm sure we can get these farther if we put them in screw mode, but I wanted to test the clutch settings of these. So the DeWalt actually made it in a little bit farther in terms of uh, my pressure tire gauge of 4 PSI, <laughs> the new measurement for hold up. Onward to uh, masonry. All right, guys, last but not least, we have the hammer drill test. We got about a little over an inch of uh, drill bit we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna drill in this concrete block here. I'm just gonna do one hole, one hole of each. That's pretty smooth, pretty smooth. All right, here you go. This is the rigid. We're in speed two of hammer mode. Came undone. Here's the M18 Gen 2 fuel, high speed hammer load. Same thing, that one undid itself too on the truck. And last but not least, our M12 fuel. Yep. Yeah, it keeps on doing itself when it hits a torque, so we'll call that one it quits for that. All right, guys, there we have our uh, little homemade test of these four drills. I'm not going to say one's the winner. It's not what this was about. I just wanted to see what uh, what each drill could handle. Um, I was very shocked with this little guy until the concrete um, performed very well on the speedboard test. Um, I was shocked to drill that big of a hole that effortlessly. Um, concrete wise, eh, it's not the best, but not typically going to buy a 12 volt drill to, to you know do concrete, you know. Um, like I said, I've had this one for about a year. I knew what that was capable of. Uh, great drill. I love it. This beast, it's awesome. Um, a little disappointed in the concrete. Could have been the drill bit. The drill bit could have got a little overheated. Um, you know, but in terms of everything else, this thing rain, rains king right now. Um, the rigid, that was the first time of concrete for me as well. Uh, kind of what I expected. Not, not the best. Not the worst. Not a bad drill. Got to remember these these guys are all brushless. That's a four fold brush motor. Um, but for being rated as a higher torque rating as the Dewalt, I was a little disappointed in it. But what are you gonna do, right? Um, that was my uh, freebie from Tools in Action giveaway. So I'm not knocking the drill. It's a nice drill. They're all great drills. Um, you know, it comes down to what you have at the end of the day. These are both nice drills and. I think DeWalt only has anywhere to go up from this uh, current drill they got. And then, uh, of course, Milwaukee, that's that's next thing to perfect right there in terms of power. So, thanks for watching with me, guys. Uh, hope you guys have some good discussion here. I know there was other things that I could have did, but try to break myself away from the pack and do something a little different. So, thanks for sharing this with me.